<laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. To be honest with you, this is for real crazy. But, hey, this is where I've led my life to. So, you know what? I got a smile on my face, man. And I'm just going to keep doing what the hell I got to do, to be honest with you. So, I worked last night, uh, like, 12 and a half hours at McDonald's, you know? Having to humble yourself and work at a McDonald's when you go from owning your own freaking flooring installed business to flipping burgers, you know, and being homeless, mind you. I got a book bag. Number one sign that somebody's homeless, they're walking with a book bag. So I get to the uh, homeless shelter this morning and finally uh, you know, I get in there or whatever and they give me some static, man, about not being there at 8 30. I don't know, whatever, dude. Uh, so now I'm trying to find some place that's got Wi Fi because I don't have any network. Well, people sure treat you different, man. I'm telling you, man. People sure treat you different, you know? Not even, you know, they don't even have to know your story. They just, they just automatically know, you know? People just teach. Teach you different, treat you different, man. Whatever. Uh, but like, it's all good, man. You know, I can praise the Lord today. You know, I got a job to go to. I was able to sleep. You know, I'm trying to get some food in my belly right now. It's all good, man. You know, God's got a plan, and everything happens the way that it's supposed to. It might not happen the way that I want it to. It's going to happen the way that it's supposed to. And I'm all right with that today. I am all right with that today. I'm not sure what this is, but oh, it's, a, it's a brewing company. Definitely don't want to go down here. Downtown Winston-Salem is pretty cool, though, to be honest with you. It's pretty neat. So uh, I'm trying to find this, uh, this coffee shop. I guess they got Wi-Fi, so... Here we go. So being homeless, walking on the streets with a book bag, living out of my book bag. You know, it's, it's humbling, man. It really is. But this is Mike reporting live. Just checking in with y'all. Let you know where I'm at. Stay tuned. This is it's about to get a little crazier. I think we're going to be uprooting from here and going somewhere else. Ah, which, I don't know. I'm excited, man, to be honest. Like, I really am. So I might as well take y'all on a little tour of Winston-Salem while I'm here. This is downtown somewhere. I don't Probably like one of their main, their main little artsy, crafty places. Or whatever. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Little sidewalk, little follow the yellow brick road type stuff. The mural, murals on the wall, the murals. <laughs> it changes colors. It's pretty dope. Man, it's got seating underneath. In every negative that happens to us in our lives, there's always a positive. Always a positive. As long as this guy doesn't hit me, I'll be just fine. <laughs> Anyways, so everything in life, man, you know, if you always try to find the negative in stuff, you're always going to find the negative in stuff. When you start looking for the positives in everything, life is so much more beautiful. Even in my current situation, I could not be fucking happier. So that's it. A little more sightseeing on my end, and uh, I guess this one goes down in the blog. This is an arcade bar that's down here, downtown Winston-Salem. This is the mural on the side of it. Pretty dope, to be honest with you. Hey, Ben Thompson, what you think, bro? All right, so real quick, before I let you guys go, like I am, uh, I found this little, this little coffee place. It's called Liberty Arts Coffee House. It's downtown Winston-Salem, and I, I tell you what, this place is freaking neat. 
AF. Uh, they've got it upstairs. I don't want to like get people on the camera and stuff, so um, I have got like a, an upstairs loft area, a little bar area where you can sit down and drink your coffee. Um, uh, it's 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 actually it's actually pretty neat. Anyways, the guy's are really really awesome. Um, he's ex military guy, so then we had a little bit of com uh, uh, things in common, so we talked for a little bit. And he's, uh, he's you know asked me, said you travel, and I was like. Yeah, uh, so anyways, love y'all, my your board live. Stay tuned, um, when we come.